Alrighty. So flashlight still acting being weird. All right. So let's check out the art room. Yep, here it is. Remember, we knew that he kept trying to draw the, the wife. This is magnum opus. And here they all are. Can never get it perfect. Yeah, I, I can see kind of what he means. Like how almost none of them are perfect. Like the, there's always something different about the left side of her face. Like where her scar would be. So he's either got, like, see this one, he's got, looks like some scarring right there on the neck. He's got it on the mouth and he's got it up the eye. And on some of these, like, for instance, this one, there's a scarring around the eye, but it's like the, it's like her left side of her mouth is sagging a little bit. So I could see someone who's striving for, for perfection, trying to, like, I feel like trying to immortalize his beautiful wife, being that he's lost that she has lost like her her beauty and now she's just scarred him trying to recreate that in the fact that he's already got a bunch of different mental health issues i feel like that made one hell of a difference this is completely and utterly empty why is that blurred all the hell all right let's figure it out let's find out why what the fuck oh that's why oh all right young lady shall we continue right Whatever happens, just keep looking at me and listen. Now, where was I? Ah, yes. The princess was all alone in the dark. And yet, she felt that the evil witch was lurking nearby. As her eyes adjusted to the darkness, she saw something moving in the corner of the eye. Oh, yet, oh, it's trying to move. She did not dare to move. For she knew that that would be the end of her. The princess heard a piercing growl. The witch had unleashed her familiar, the hellhound. The monster slipped into the air. Its perky ears wear off even the slightest sound. Try, I'm trying to keep it there. Motionless. Letting the monster pass, there was a stillness in the air. The princess breathed a sigh of relief. For a moment, it seemed like the worst was behind her, and yet she knew that it was not over. There was still danger nearby, waiting for her slightest move. Frozen in terror, she kept <clears throat> I'm looking, Frozen I'm looking. In terror, she kept looking straight ahead. Suddenly, she heard a terrifying cackle. It was the evil witch herself. The wretched thing despised beauty and innocence. For she had neither. The what the fuck? Just outside of you. But our heroine didn't dare to look. She had to keep her head straight. Lest she be cursed by the witch's foul magic. She could almost feel the chilling touch of the witch's hand at her neck. She felt the sudden urge. Don't fail me now, princess. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. Promise. She felt the sudden urge to run away, but fought it with all her will. For she knew that was precisely what the witch would have wanted. And then, just like that, the chill was gone. She saw a glimmer of light over the horizon. The sun was almost upon her. It was almost dawn. It was almost over. And there. The princess stood triumphant in the sun, smiling as she... Wait. That's not right. Her face. Why is she still... scared? Oh, God. I didn't mean to... Princess, I am so sorry. What the fuck? It's not that he was cruel. It's just that, to him, reality was just a pale reflection of art. He was blind to the world, unless it was translated to him through a canvas. Not weird at all? Okay. 
I guess she means like he wasn't being cruel. Like he wasn't trying to scare her with the story. It's just to him, it's basically reality. That, don't remember that being there earlier. Um, oh, oh, lo, rat, lies, 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 lies. Rats is pests. Jeez. Foaming at the mouth, it's got little eyes. Rat, species in description. Lies, lies, lies. What the hell? Okay. Um, we needed that other room too. I think before we go to that room, we're gonna come downstairs to his workshop because I feel like that locked room is going to be important for us. We've already gone through basically everything else here, I think. Yeah, okay, so let, let's do his workshop. Can I close it after there we go? Yep, here we go. I wonder when was the last time this place saw sunlight? I mean, considering it looks like there's mold on the outside of the window, probably not for a long time. Um, wow. Okay. Anything? Nothing. 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 Oh. Memory. Oh, what the hell? Okay. Crayon? Or paintbrush? Oh, man, that's a big one. Um, I feel like we should go paintbrush. No, it was probably a childhood memory, so let's go crayon. What are you doing? Put that down. You're much too old for that childish nonsense. Holy crap. Isn't that the rattle? That's the rattle. Oh, wow. Okay, I feel like I can either pick up the paintbrush... Or I can go on an adventure. Let's go on an adventure. Oh, what the hell? Okay. What that mouth do? What is this, like a puppet show? <gasps> teddy bears! Hi, teddy bear. Oh, this is that little red writing that story you did. Walking through the woods, when suddenly, out of nowhere, jumped out you know who. Eyes glowing bloody red, teeth sharp as razors, and yet the big bad wolf did not seem to phase her. Be careful, little girl, the big bad wolf sneered. You're in fantasy land, where things ain't what they seem. Oh, shush, you big old meanie, the frightened girl exclaimed. You're the only threat in this wonderful land. With my magic crayons, I can do no harm. I can make the trees yellow, turn them upside down, turn grass into candy, make the sky go red. I can do whatever pops into my head. The wolf was unimpressed with his show of skill. You do have the power to do what you will. Alas, I humbly urge you to practice restraint, for you are responsible for what you create. You're nasty, jealous, and mean, said the little girl. I just want to have fun, and you want me to learn. I wish a big old rock would fall down from the sky and crush your big bad mouth into a minced meat pie. Don't do it, I beg you, the big wolf cried. You lack scale and perspective, my sweet little child. But it was too late. His warning fell on deaf ears. Down came the rock and smashed them all to smithereens. Oh, wow, I'm literally looking at a giant freaking rock. Okay. Oh, it's a path. Oh, the paintbrush is still there. Okay, so. Yep, it's a paintbrush. Are you ready to embrace true art? Let's do this. Oh, the summer trees. So green and vibrant full of life, but also young and experienced. Let's try to find them a more poignant season, where they are wiser and have some stories to tell. Crayon? Green?
Huh, okay. Let's explore a bit. Maybe I can find some other stuff. I saw that crown. I should have picked up the crown, too. What the fuck was that? No, nothing. This, what's this, what's this? Red. Oh, wait. So, okay, red and green. Okay, so I can only pick up one. Basically, what the fuck? That scared the shit out of me. I'm not gonna lie. I thought I was gonna die, but I had nowhere to go, so I just stood there. Okay, so I can pick the red. Wait, now there's blue. Where they're older and wiser. I, I'm, I'm thinking red. I'm thinking red because that would be like more of an autumn when the trees are older, right? I want to see what the yellow does. No, put that down. You were doing so well. Okay, so he doesn't want the crown. Okay, so we're putting in some red. Ah, yes, the autumn. autumn of life when man seeks shelter from the elements. Let's see how our little hut fares when the skies grow dark. Okay, that was not there a second ago. Okay, when the skies grow dark, so now I need a dark color for the skies. Okay, so there's the crayon. Doesn't want us to pick up crayons, so let's not pick up the crayons. Oh, wait, wait. Nope, okay. What's this? The black? I think that was black. All right, so let's 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 do the let's do the black. Okay. No, any old house will do in times of prosperity. We need to see how it fares when misery darkens the sky. What? Did I not pick up black? Like. Okay, that's yellow. We don't want yellow. We want a dark color. I thought I picked up black. Or is that white? That's supposed to be white. That might be white. I, I may have misread that. That may they may be white. Okay. Nothing here. Alright, let's keep going. Gotta keep searching for a dark color. I don't think the yellow would work. I feel like that's too bright of a color. <laughs> Fuck off. Okay. All the toys. Teddy bear. Help me, teddy bear. Give me the right color, teddy bear. Yes. There it is, teddy bear. Still thought my reach. Teddy bear, help me. Okay, but seriously, why can't I reach that? Hmm. Oh. I get it. Okay, teddy bear. I don't know what that was. I don't want to look back, though. That was the death of a cat, I think. Teddy bear. Oh, God, teddy bear, please. Help me, teddy bear. I feel like Sisyphus. Oh, God. Teddy bear, I need your help. Don't make me sit the fist. Thank you, teddy bear. I know it was you that gave me the strength. Okay. Why can't I grab it? Okay, that has to be black. Oh, what the hell? What? 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 Okay. Not weird at all. All right. Thank you, teddy bear. Teddy bear's my G. My homeboy. I think that was white. But I fucked up. I think that was white. I thought it was black. You see? In the end, all we take for granted is fragile and temporary. Man passes while nature endures. Speaking of which, I don't think our proud stallion likes the weather. 
Let's brighten things up a bit. The hell? Okay, now what do you want me to use? Where's the damn crayon again? Oh. Oh, come on, man. The fuck? Just because I look at you, you're gonna look at me like that? Oh, fuck off, you stupid freaking dog. You don't scare me. You are nothing to me. Nothing. Okay. Okay, so green. So we can use green to brighten things up. Maybe, I think, right? Although I don't, I feel like that wouldn't work. Hmm. You're okay. not listening. God damn it. How is some soggy grass going to help here? We need to make it warmer. Okay, he needs warmer. Okay, fuck you, Green. You, you screwed me. You screwed me. Pink? I don't think pink's gonna work. Hmm. Ah, maybe it's some yellow? Or No, I feel like yellow is too bright. Let's see, what, what else do we got? What else do we got? What are we looking for exactly, boys? What are we looking for? This is just back into the room with the... Okay. Let's go back this way. Hmm. I think I've got green in my hands. Chingo? That scared the shit out of me. Okay. Warmer. Maybe we do need yellow. Okay. Oh, I had pink in my hand for some reason. Alright, maybe we do need yellow. Yellow for fire. Yeah, I think that's exactly what we need. I'm basically just going in circles now. What the hell? There's the pink. Okay, here we go, here we go. Back in. What the hell? Okay. That's right. The sun bestows its kind rays upon the land. What the hell? It's getting warmer and warmer until finally. Marvelous, isn't it? I know it seems like a tragedy, but a beautiful tragedy is always better than an unremarkable existence. What the hell? In his own way, I believe he meant well. He wanted me to excel. Hoping that when the time came, I would succeed where he failed. Avoid his mistakes. God knows he made plenty of those. What the hell? Oh, come on! Oh, okay. Okay, I think the game's telling me, like, hey, you need to come to this door now. Because, mind you, I've been, like, avoiding it this whole time. Okay. Yeah, the daughter pissed off. Oh, there are all the pictures. All the pictures I've found. I wonder if I found them all. Huh, okay. There was something in here, too. But after that, red paint... Fluorescent paint for luminescence to occur. Expose the light for 30 seconds. Huh. Oh, whoa. Hand steady, booze, undercoat. He just kept rewriting over and over and over and over again. He kept writing it all over again. Yeah, he definitely lost his mind. Okay. I think we're done in here, boys. Remember, we wanted to go in there before we went to that other room. And I think that was a good thing, because now I feel like the game is telling me, like, Hey, hey, bro, you, you need to come to this room now. Okay. All right, boys, it's time. Oh, hey, picture. Oh, wow. Oh, that's terrifying. You know what? Since we just picked that up, I wonder if that'll be added to the wall. Hang on. I'm totally not making excuses not to go in through that door. Totally not. 
Huh. Oh, no, I just added it. Wait, okay, so I guess there's like two more pictures. Looks like there's like two more pictures. Oh, yeah, 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 look. There's almost like a definitive line right there. Oh, okay, okay. So keep, gotta keep our eyes out, boys. Keep our eyes open. Keep build. Um, to be fair, I may have already missed them. Which, if I did, I may or may not come back later and grab everything. Just to get, like, the uh, achievements. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Let's go, boys. What the hell? I don't know what I expected to find. A farewell note? A final will? We did find a will, what though. What I found was an apology. Expressed in the only language he ever truly knew. Oh. At that moment, I could finally see my father for what he was. A man driven insane with sadness and guilt. Trapped in this house. A nightmarish echo chamber of past mistakes and tragedies. It was this house. A place beyond hope, beyond redemption. I knew what I had to do. What? I had given up trying to understand my father a long time ago. But I could finally forgive him. Fucking fuck you, Harry, baby. Yeah, that's right, you burn. Hey, princess. What have you got there? Oh, that's so lovely, sweetie. Why pink? Wow, okay, that was actually freaking awesome. It was such a beautiful, like, little DLC. We got to see basically, like, her perspective of everything. And I like that last little bit. It's like it continues with her, you know. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell button. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Bye.